Hi guys, this is Ratchet Saw, and we are playing Criminal Case, Miss of the Past, Case 35, Burning Bridges. Let's unlock Chapter 2, and Ramirez says that he found someone's head. Or, more precisely, Bridget's head, right? Yeah, yeah I was just patrolling at the nearby playground, and I... I'm fairly sure I found a victim's head. Uh, why would Killer place uh, the head on the children's playground monster? Great job. So where is it? Did you take it to Dick at the morgue? Um, not exactly. I'm really psyched. Yeah, I got nervous and I dropped it, but it's still on the playground somewhere. Next day, I know exactly where we need to be. To the playground with us. We must find the victim's head. What? You were scared, Ramirez? And you're scared here. Alright, placing the decapitated head on children's playground. Very, very monstrous. So some monster placed it here. Well, I know there it's night and the children aren't here, but... There's some places right here for me to find it. Because it wasn't thrown just like that. It was just placed. As a warning, right? Brass knuckles. Oh! But who's? So, Katrina, you found the rest of our victim. I knew what we came here to find, but this is gruesome. The girl could brought Bridget's head to the plague to hide it. There's about to be evidence on it. Let's get it to Dick. He also found a set of brass knuckles. You're right, something appears to be engraved on them, but I can't make out what. Can you dust them? Hey, if you piece of toe for the back together, you may have a new lead. We'll get new leads. Let's start another autopsy, but this time Bridget's head. Alright, first let's restore this torn photo. Ah, oh, very cute photo. You piece the photo back together, Katia. It appears to be a young woman holding a baby. Why do we find this family cute photo I ripped the shreds on a playground? You're right, the key to that photo must be the identity of the young woman. Perhaps you can run a comparison of her features in the archives. Yeah, I can. Alright, now this brass knuckles. Whose bra brass knuckles are this? Because every time we find some kind of a brass knuckles, there's always someone's name. Tony's! First, Vinny has brass knuckles and now you have them. Well, that seems to be the common weapon of Italians, right? Just some something to hide. God damn, this brass knuckles you found belong to Tony the Scorpion. That's Antonio the Scorpion, Dante, the Italian gangster. We last saw him when we were investigating that slaughterhouse murder. He spends a lot of time beating up Irish people. He must be out to his elbows in this gang war. And you found Dante's brass knuckles on the same playground as the victim's head. We better explain this. He'd better explain this. I said we, but whatever. And what happened to your hand? Looks like he had to, we got shot through the hand and that's why he has a bandage all over his hand. Alright, now who's this woman? You're a dead fine Sadie Smith. The young woman that photo is a certain Sadie Smith. And according to our record, she had a daughter named Bridget Smith. Oh. Bridget Smith was then adopted by a family called Baker. So the infant in the photo must be Bridget. She was Sadie's daughter. Whoa. You're right, dear. You must speak with Miss Smith to deliver the sad news about Bridget. And uh, why was she adopted? I 
Alright, first let's go talk to Tony. Mr. Dante, can you explain why magic you have hired your breast like a sort of playground? Who are you beating up? No one. If anyone's causing trouble, it's the Irish. Because these gang war Italians are dying all over the place. You were not a man to lose so much familia. I go to that playground to think. Eat some stucco wafers like I used to when I was a kid. It beats going to some noisy dark race. It's peaceful there. A likely story. So I suppose it all is quiet. You didn't notice that the head of Bridget Baker was practically at your feet. Bridget who? There ain't no Italian there. You better ask the Irish. You can't blame the Irish for everything. If you're lying about Bridget, Mitch Cotillo will find you out. I hate you, Scorpion. Get over here so I can arrest you if you turn up to be the killer. Alright, let's go talk to Sadie. Miss Smith, I'm afraid we have some bad news for you. Bad news? I haven't done anything wrong. Why do you police people need to speak with me? Your daughter, Bridget Baker. She was murdered earlier on the bridge between the riverbanks. Bridget? Murdered? No, it can't be. Oh, my baby girl, I was only her age when she was born. I had to give her up for adoption due to a medical condition I have. But I never forgot her. I even got her the two to always remember her by. And did you ever see her again after she was placed with the Baker family? Yes, I found her. She was living here on this very playground. We had reunited and we were going to be a family again. Just Bridget and me. But now... Mitch I am very sorry for your loss, Miss Smith. Alright, so it's just someone being devastated. That's all. Ready? Let's check out her head. I think I said I'm quite pleased you found her head of the victim. Now at least I have a complete body to analyze. Were you able to find any further information from it? Indeed, there were traces of powder on either side of the victim's head between the jaw and cheekbones, and they revealed themselves to be flea powder. However, Bridget Baker showed no sign of fleas either on her body or her head. The girl definitely left the powder on her when they picked up her head to hide it. So, the girl has fleas? At the end, it better not start an infestation in prison. Another thing, I received a bloody worry that the St. Sulpicius Hospital has had a horrible flea problem of late. Oh really? Since the cure has fleas, they may have picked them up at the hospital. Iraq too, should head back over there straight away. Ugh, I don't wanna know what those are. Headlights was enough, but this... Alright, let's rescue get hospital. Oh, why am I doing this? I should cover my head. But no, I need to use my both hands. Actually, only one hand. Just so I can find clues. That's not gonna help. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure why you think finding a medicine box in a hospital is so suspect. Oh, I see. Yes, it appears that someone has tried to open the box in a rather brisk manner. You can manage to open it with more fineness and we'll see, we'll see what attracts so much attention. It appears that someone left the message in code for the victim on this newspaper. If you cipher the code, it will be that much closer to knowing who left that message for Bridget. Okay. Alright, first this medicine box. They were thinking that medicine chest was a note. The note says, Bridget, stay away from the medicine. And it was signed by Nurse Hatchet. Nurse Hatchet never mentioned any conflict with the victim. It was the van clarification. 
Well, at first you seemed like you had a conflict, but now we want to know why. Alright, now this code on the newspaper. I'm gonna get the numbers and I'm gonna send them to Eevee later, right? Oh, I'm getting good at this one now. You deciphered the code from the newspaper, Katia. Those numbers were the message to the victim. Let's see what Eevee can make of them. And let's send them to Eevee now. Alright, 12 hours. And now let's go talk to Nurse Hatchet again. Nurse Hatchet, bitch, Katia found a note you wrote to Bitch Baker. You didn't mention any coffee with the victim before. That rage of Muffin was a thorn in my side. She was more annoyed than counting the fleas on my head. Hey, don't do it! I wanna get them. She was trying to steal medicine from my hospital. Miss Baker faith her illness in order to gain access to morphine that real patients need. I tried an extra loss on the chest and she insisted on busting through there. So I moved all the medicine to a more secure location. And left her a note. She was caught red-headed trying to steal a game and we threw her out of the hospital. And had she stolen anything, Nurse Hatchet? I'm still running an inventory, but I assure you, if I find out that she did, I'll... You what? The worst has already been done, and it better not have been done by you. Nah, I don't think she would murder her. Nah, I think it's somebody else. We'll see about that. Let's check out this set of numbers. But there, this is a fascinating number puzzle you sent me. Puzzle? What do you mean? Now as your disciple corresponded to select answers or across for puzzle clues in this issue of the Concordia Cassette, they followed a message for the victim. The answers were choose, your, side, side, bar, and tender. Well, choose your side is fairly clear, the message could be about the gag war, but bar and tender? A bartender! I didn't... <laughs> the bartender? Dear, you're right, it has to be there, but he sent this message to the victim. So he lied, he said he had never spoken to the victim, but he clearly sent a coded message to Bridget, and about the gang war of all things. Daryl had better explain this message to us at once. Yeah! <coughs> I fucking hate Dermot. <coughs> Dermot McMurphy, how dare you lie to me and Mage Katia? You said a coded message from Bishop Baker telling her to choose a side. Why are you trying to make her take part in the gang war? Tell us the truth, have you joined the Irish gang? Ah, this feels worse than my fleas. Alright, here goes. Yes, I joined the Irish gang. What? How could you? Had no choice, you don't know what it's like. I had to fight for my own, Maddie. I like to just sit around and eat these taco wafers, but the Italians are killing all the Irish. You gotta stand up for yourself or die. I told Bridget this isn't a day at the dog race, this is a life or death. Either you're with us or against us. And so you killed Bridget when she refused to make a choice? No, Maddie, never. How could you think that of me? Well, you're capable of everything, so. Katia, Chris the Bastard remains at war zone with these Irish and Italian gangs. Now a young girl has been decapitated? What is happening here? We're making some progress, Chief. We still don't know who killed Bridget or why, but we found her missing head and we have suspects. Nurse Hatcher forcibly removed Bridget from the hospital after she was caught trying to steal medicine. A Daryl Ref Murphy joined the Irish gang and tried to pressure Bridget to join up too. And Antonio and Dante turn up again like a bad penny, looking around the playground where we found the victim's head. Katrina, Katrina, you gotta stop him. What? What are you on about? Cosmo Ramirez, stop whom? The Scorpio, Antonio and Dante is pouring kerosene all over the playground. Oh, why are, what are, why are you trying to burn the playground? We'll see about that. We're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again.
Goodbye. <laughs>